So you want to make an animation, but you start to think, oh, I have to keyframe this, I have to keyframe that, and if I want to change this, I have to come to the keyframes and change the keyframes, and you start, to, oh, that's a lot of work. But if I tell you that you don't need to use keyframes to animate inside of DaVinci Resolve, yes, it's possible. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how easy it is. So let's go. So here we are inside of the edit page and I have here this clip that I made. And in this clip, I don't use one keyframe. So I'm going to show you how you can animate things. This is a simple one, but I'm going to add a little bit more flavor to and animate more stuff. So let's go. First thing I want to add here, my map. Let's select the map. The first thing I'm going to do is increase the size of the map and I'm going to adjust here the position. So I'm going from Lisbon to LA in plane. So let me do something like this. Let's jump into the fusion page. Now in the fusion page, let's import our plane. So here is our plane. Let uh, after the plane, I'm going to add a transform node and I'm going to connect it to the media in so it comes here and creates this merge. So here is our plane. So let's select the transform and let's resize the plane because it's too big. Let's resize and let's come here to the angle and let's rotate it since we are going from east to west. I'm going to put the plane, the plane like this and I'm going to move it to Lisbon. So here we are in Lisbon. Now let's create our first animation. So let's move the plane from here to here. To do that, you have to be sure that you are in the first frame of the clip. Come here to the center, right click and select path. Now come here to this tool here and select the first one, the click and add. So here we are, now let's let me zoom in a little bit and move it like this. So we're going from here to here. So the middle is here. So since we are 116 frames, I'm going to roughly to the middle over here. And I'm going to add a point over here in the middle of, of the distance like this. Let me go to the end and like this and it's done. So we have our plane, we're going from one side to the other side with zero keyframes. Now let, we can adjust this point, for example, we can adjust here to give it a little bit more a curve like this and hit this point over here, press control and adjust something like this. And now it's doing the flight. So one animation, zero keyframes. Now let's animate the size of our plane. So the plane is too big in the beginning and in the end. So let's go to the size, right click and modify with anim curves. Don't worry, it disappeared, but don't worry. Let's go here to the modifiers and in here, where it says curve shape, go to the curve and st instead of linear, use custom. Now let's go here to the first point in this graphic. Increase until you like the size. And here I want to put it zero. So in here we want to 0 0.75. Okay. Now let's go here to the middle, add a a point and go to the last one and in here put 0.075 so it's the same size so the plane will come from here it will be bigger and then it goes there smaller so let's go to the middle and in here let's pull the size down and put it like this you can see that over here, you have two handles. We can adjust it like this and do the same over here. And let if we press control, we can move one 
independent to the other. So, okay. And now if we play it, it's small, it becomes bigger and then it disappears. So two animations, zero keyframes. Now, as you can see, the plane from here to here, the direction is okay, but now the plane should rotate a little bit so we can do that also. So let's go again to the tools here. Let's go to the angle, do the same right click, modify with anim curves. And don't worry about that. Let's go to the beginning, go to the modifiers, do the same instead of linear, go to custom in here, select this and rotate the plane more or less the direction that we want. In here, I want it zero. Let's go to the middle. Ah, the point over here. And let's put the plane in the position that we want. Now let's go to the end. And let's see the position of the plane. Oh, like this, we can adjust it a little bit more. So here we have it. So let's play it. It goes from here, rotates and it follows. So three animations, zero keyframes. Now let's add here the align from here to here. To do that, it's very easy, add here background node let me change the color want it to yellow like this let's add a polygon mask over here connect it and now let's connect it to here let's select the polygon let's go to the first frame to see where the plane lives so the plane will live from here let's go here to the middle Let's see where the middle is, it's over here in the 54. Let's go to the polygon and add a point over here, something like this. Now let's go to the end and over here. Now let's go here to the inspector, uncheck solid and go to the border width, increase the border width and we have our mark from of the flight from one place to the other so now let's animate the line because we want the line to follow the plane let's do the same come here to the length or oh, look so to the length right click modify with anim curves and in this case we don't have to do any change because a linear in here it's linear and it works look if I play it so the line is following the plane as you can see so for animations zero keyframes of course this is a simple flight one line very smooth nothing very complicated so let's try to do something more complicated so here we have the final result so the plane is going from one place to the other and it's done now let's put the same map over here let's go to the select the map let me increase the map like this in this case i'm gonna move it a little bit like this and change it to here because i want to show you the the c how can I, it's the in portuguese is caminho marítimo para india so it's the mar, the sea, uh, the seaway to India, the first time that the Portuguese and the, the first time that the Europeans go to India by the sea, it was uh, done by the Portuguese more than 500 years ago. So let me show you how they went. So let's come here, select the, the map, go to the fusion. In here, let me, let's add the caravella so it was it's the name of the the boat that the portuguese use let's add a transform and let's connect to
to here. So here we have the boat and let's go to the transform and let's resize it something like this and let's put it in in Portugal. So Portugal is somewhere around here. Let me resize it a little bit. So now we're going to do the the travel to India by sea. So let me show you how you can do it. But we have to think in one thing. The distance between points that you make have to be real close to the same distance in frames. Because if you do a big jump in the map and you use a, a few um, frames, the boat will go very fast. If you do the other way if you do a small jump in the map and use a lot of keep a lot of frames between the jump the boat will go slow so in this case i'm going to jump from 20 to 20 frames so let's go we are in the first one right click in the center do path select here the click append and now go to the frame number 20 and i'm going to put it somewhere around here go to the 40 for example more or less the same distance here to the 60 and come over here to the 80 something like this to the 100 and to here and now a little a small jump to over here as you can see it's these corners are too sharp so you can come and select this one and we'll do something like this round it a little bit over here do the same over here do it like this this one now this one something like this and this one some okay and now it's done so if we go to the edit page if we play it you will see the boat going from portugal to india and one thing as you can see the boat is cut a little bit if you come here to the zoom if you zoom out or zoom in and you move it up and down as you can see nothing changes on the movement of the boat so you can adjust everything and everything stays together so as you can see we can do all kind of animations without using keyframes so i hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned something with this and i hope to see you in my next video until there bye